Hey, y'all. Eric Adcock, this awkward life. Listen, we're all getting ready for Christmas. It's going to be a wild time. Family coming in, family going out, family, 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 family. It's on its way. Christmas is here, just a couple days away. Now, I want to give you a, a list. <clears throat> just a now, this is my list. You don't have to follow it. It's not, it's not been approved by any standard course or any Dave Ramsey course or a pastor anywhere. This is just me. Uh, instead of trying to make everything perfect, like worrying about is Christmas going to be perfect, there's my top five things that you can do to ruin Christmas. So all you have to do is not do these five things. And I feel like that your Christmas will go well. So now all of these can be rearranged or whatever, but they're just in my, my, my list. So the first thing you want to, if you really want to ruin Christmas, okay, if you want to ruin Christmas, then when everybody gets there, just start lining people out, okay? Now, let me say this. If you're the mamaw and papa, you're the matriarch, patriarch of the, of the family, you've got that right, okay? You line people out. If, if they're all coming to your house and, and, and everybody and the kids ain't acting right and stuff like that, you just say, hey, we're gonna, let's get this done, okay? You've got the right to do it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if you're just, if it's not your house and you come over and you ain't seen these kids and, 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 and since last year, and you start lying, hey, put that down, do that, do that, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's just going to, that's going to make things tense. That's going to make things tight. And you don't want that. I can take you back all the way to 1979 when that happened to my family. Boom, no more. Don't grab somebody else's kid, whoop them in the middle of something. But let me tell you this. Every mom and dad need to have this conversation with their kids in the car. Now, let me tell you something. You always start out right there. You're real close. Let me tell you something. We get in that house, you better act right, boy. You understand me? Don't be spilling nothing, messing around. You have some respect. So number five, show some respect all the way around. Number four. Now, number four and number three, you can interchange those. You just got to feel the room. Got to feel the room. But I'm going to put number four as if you're overly hypersensitive about your sports team, like if you're just a diehard university of what you call it, and you know, don't get overblown about that. Okay, if that's the case, you know, you know, if Uncle Bob's like, oh, looks like they lost again, you say, <laughs> more potatoes, Bob. <laughs> don't get into verbal argument. Don't get into verbal argument over sports around Christmas time. It's no need. It's no need doing all that. You know, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even go around it. Okay, I would just avoid the topic. Okay, number three is it can be interswapped is politics. Okay, listen, don't do that. Don't start talking politics at your Christmas dinner. Okay, just don't do it. There's no sense in it. Do you hear me? I don't want this is not a you know Republican or Democrat uh, fundraising speech. This is Christmas. Okay, so don't be doing that. If you vote for XYZ party, wonderful. Don't bring it up around over the mashed potatoes and, 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 and all that. Don't do it. Stay away from that. Stay away from that. Number two. Now, this one's going to be controversial. I know. I know it's going to be controversial, but listen to me. If you've invited family to your house, you've done the inviting. And you know that they're not living right, okay? Memo, papa, you know, mama, daddy. If you invite them home for Christmas, don't be trying to, 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 to just overly just straighten them out over the gospel during Christmas. You know what? Let your light shine. Say, man, I'm glad you're home. I love you. God loves you. And do that. Don't be out trying to take them back in the back of the pond and rebaptize them and all of that unless they want that. Don't let this be a, a crusade for that. If you're the host, you show the love of God, and you just you be who you are. You be you. How about that? You be you. And but don't try to overly. This is a, this is a homecoming, okay? Homecoming Christmas where we're going to be baptizing folks. And everybody's coming. If you've got family that's not living right, and you've invited them to the house, then you. You show them the love of Christ without being overly bearing and preaching. Is that okay? All right. <clears throat> the number one thing that you can do if you want to ruin Christmas, this one's a big one. 
Just be ungrateful. Just be ungrateful. If you want to have a terrible Christmas, just be ungrateful. Be ungrateful for your family. Be ungrateful for um, the time of year. Be ungrateful for everything. That's the number one way just to ruin a Christmas. Be grateful. Be grateful this time of year. I don't care if Aunt Tilly or Sister Johnson brings, you know, if they put, you know, raisins in the, the, the uh, sweet potato casserole, okay? Just eat it and go on. You know what? Where you're there with your family for Christmas for a very short time. So don't ruin Christmas, okay? Take it from old coach here. Just don't ruin Christmas. If you'll avoid those five things and just be thankful, you'll have a great Christmas. I know you will. I believe in you. You'll have a great Christmas. Pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Oh, look. <laughs> a king. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all.